Alright, uh, a lot of people don't know what Cuisinarots are, so this video is just a quick explanation of what they are. Um, they are a set of wood or plastic rods based on the centimeter length. The smallest rod is a cube. I don't know if you can see this. Um, it's either, if it's a wood one, it's tan colored. And if it is a plastic one, it is white. And we call it white. Um, and so it's a one centimeter cube. One centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. And then the next bigger one is red. And so that's two centimeters by one by one. And they uh, keep going up and each length is a different color. And all rods of the same length are the same color. So all rods that are three centimeters long are light green. And all rods that are two centimeters long are red, and all rods that are 10 centimeters long oops, are orange. Um, and so we have 10 different colors along with 10 different lengths. And uh, um, the good thing about these rods is that they show relationships. And so on purpose, they are not scored or marked with um, each centimeter distinguished from the next. And so um, at the beginning, it takes a little bit of playing around to get used to um, calling the rods by certain numbers. But in the end, it's actually better because you can then use them later on for fraction work. And instead of calling our little guy here a one, you could call the yellow a one. Or you could call the orange a one. Or you could even call an orange plus a light green a one. Um, and so the relationships between the rods still stay the same. And um, that's helpful, um, especially when you get into fractions and decimals and stuff like that. Um, children learn very, very quickly what to call these rods, even though they're not scored or marked um, each centimeter. And usually it takes the adults longer to pick it up, because I guess our brains are slower. Um, but they are a great tool for teaching math conceptually. They're especially helpful for introducing concepts because um, usually what happens is um, teachers, you know, they know that manipulatives are a good thing to have and they sometimes introduce concepts with them, um, but they have all different kinds of manipulatives for different um, learning tasks and you can use quiz and error ads for just about everything. And so there's less to have in your classroom or your home. Um, it's less space it's taken up and it's, it becomes more familiar to the children because they're using it so much. And so um, if you introduce concepts with the quiz and air odds, um, they will have a visual and a kinesthetic way of interacting with number relationships and number patterns. Um, and this is much more effective than just introducing with symbols on paper because the symbols on paper are actually very abstract and they have um, nothing whatsoever to do with the actual quantities. They're just straight or curved lines on a paper. And so um, these rods actually have something to do with numbers because we can tell by the length that the red is the same as two of the white. I don't know if you can see that there, but... Um, and so we can say half, uh, uh, white is half of the red, where red is two times the white. And so we see the relationships um, within the rods there, and that helps bring coherence and understanding to um, children's work with numbers in elementary school and even into junior high and high school. One more thing I wanted to mention is that you can use quiz and air rods with any curriculum. Um, you just look ahead and see what uh, you're going to be teaching next, and then introduce the concept with quiz and air rods and then move on to the worksheets that the children are going to do. Um, it's, it's really best to use quiz and errors many times to get the conceptual understanding in before you introduce worksheets, um, but I understand that a lot of times you have to, especially if you're in a teaching situation, you need to follow the set curriculum and get a certain amount of things done. So um, do what you can to introduce those concepts visually and kinesthetically with quiz and errors. Uh, there are a ton of videos on the site that can aid you in that endeavor, and um, hopefully you'll find something that's useful to you.